and the results were incredible and I've kept up, I've maintained it. So if, as before, we're gonna see if we can really shrink this and tighten this in. I had fried calamari, I had loaves of bread, chicken skewers with satay, sweet and sour dip. Student family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing good. And if you're new here, hello, my name's Kimberly, and I hope you subscribe. Turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload and give this video a massive thumbs up to be a part of my weight loss journey channel. Now, as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I am doing the How to Get a Slim Waist in Three Days. Now, I recently did this on my channel almost two months ago now, and the results were incredible. And I've kept up, I've maintained it, and it's absolutely fantastic. And you guys love that video. And I I thought why not do that video again this time round it's the no diet version. So last time I really emphasized the fact that I was eating healthy, I was making sure that I was eating lean, all that type of thing. But this time, no diet allowed. And I'm gonna be eating my maintenance calories, but I'm gonna be lenient and all that type of thing. If I want ice cream, I'll have ice cream. If I want chocolate, I'll have chocolate. And three days to really test if I can do it with no diet at all. Now going even further than this, I'm gonna be testing out my actual ab routine that I provide in my fitness plans that I used to lose their pounds that is what I'm gonna be using to test if I can get a slimmer waist in the next three days so no pressure I'm putting myself on for a huge huge challenge testing my own fitness plans is so scary but I'm so excited to see to see the results that I can get so I've already been doing the ab workout of my fitness program so you can see a lot of ab definition on there already so I think the only thing that's gonna really change this time is that I'm gonna be going hard and heavy with it to really see how much more I can shrink all of this in so if, as the before, we're going to see if we can really shrink this and tighten this in. I probably should also mention that normally I intermittent fast, but again, to go along with the no dieting, I won't be intermittent fasting for the next three days. So the pressure really, really is on, but it's whether it can shrink my stomach in three days. Let's absolutely do this. Let's get into the challenge. I'm so excited because right now I have some spicy calamari deep fried and I'm so excited to eat this It's probably one of my favorite foods of all time. I first had it when I was in Spain and I just can't wait to tuck into this I am so excited <laughs> Hello guys, update from me. But I just wanna tell you like, I feel so much better in my confidence and everything else. Like working out and exercising has made me feel more confident and brought me back confidence that I've never had before. Like sometimes I'll wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I just don't wanna look in the mirror right now. My body feels so heavy and gross. And other days I feel amazing. And for anyone who's watching this, who's in that position, who hasn't found that love for their body themselves yet, is trust me, keep going, keep working out, keep focusing on you, stop caring about what anyone else thinks and really really do this for you these challenges and these things are all about you and making it all better for yourself and finding your inner confidence finding your happiness within your body and I just wanted to give that little bit of motivation to say whoever's watching this thinking about starting the weight loss journey weight loss challenge you've got this like literally imagine me there with you every single workout like hyping you up to all different levels like you've got this and I just want you to absolutely smash any type of workout you do any type of self-care even if your self-care sitting in bed and reading a book like you are a boss queen and don't let anyone else tell you different and i'll catch up with you guys soon <laughs> So guys, we have reached the end of the challenge and as you've just seen there, it really, really did help. You guys know I always maintain my full body workouts, my full body stuff. And it's really, really important for me that I maintain it, you know, on a routine so that I don't lose momentum. That's the main thing that I always want to emphasize, that momentum is everything. Now with this one, I normally do my ab workouts, but I have specific days when I do them. So what changed this time, what really brought the results faster and more visible is that I was actually doing it every single day this time. I was going for it, I was putting in my all and I was really really working to get 
every single movement right and to really, really push myself. When you're focusing on it and you're actually saying, okay, this 10 minute workout, this 10 minute, you know, fat burning stomach workout, I really want to put my all into it. And when I had that mindset and I was really, really going for it on that basis and knowing that I was doing it for this challenge really, really motivated me. So the results have been fantastic. And yes, my, I started off slimmer before, which made the challenge even harder, but we really, really pushed through. So I'm so proud of these workouts. I couldn't be more happy with it. You guys are showing me every single day that you're doing my workouts. And for everyone who's joined this fitness community for my workout, my fitness business, I'm so happy to have every single one of you guys. Now, food wise, I want to talk about food. So as I said at the beginning, this is a no diet version. So I was a lot more relaxed. I will do what I eat in a day soon, but I have so many up on my channel already. So you guys will have an idea of how clean and lean that I eat. So having this no diet version was so daunting. So I was like, what is going to happen? And I actually ended up probably seeing a better results on a non-leaner routine and no diet routine than I would have if it was leaner. That's just because sometimes your body gets so used to the food that you're eating and the nutrients that you're putting in and it gets so used to that that it ends up being on this plateau whether it's working out, whether it's food, whether it's weight loss, anything like that. So I actually think having a no diet version really shook it up and made my metabolism work faster than it normally would. Now I'm going to insert some clips here on some of the things that I ate this week and I had, you know, I had calamari, fried calamari. I would never normally eat fried. I had um, this bread, I had loads of bread, I had crisps, I had chicken skewers with satay sweet and sour dip. I really was making it more relaxed. I had more fruit than I normally ever would eat. I really, really did have a three day session where I was like, okay, to really take this challenge seriously, I'm going all in with my food. And I wasn't going crazily overboard because do bear in mind, if you go way, way over, you are going to gain weight, no matter whether you're working out 12 hours in the gym. And if you go too under, you won't lose any weight. So I was right in the almost here, whether it's not overly too much, but not like my normal calories anyway. So that's the kind of method I took for this. And it really did help speed up the results and processes, which I'm actually really chuffed about. Because I never normally, I, n I always tiptoe around the idea of you no know, jump starting my calories, but that was really fun to see. If you guys have enjoyed this video and you want to see more fitness challenges, do let me know. Don't forget consistency is key. Whether you want a flat stomach, whether you, whether you want slimmer thighs, whether you want, you know, the whole full body thing, do remember consistency is key. If you want your dream goals, if you want your dream body, you do have to have a good workout set in place that you choose for yourself. You do have to have a good meal. Food is everything and you really, really need to get that on lock. I learned this over losing 30 pounds that you really, really have to have those two hand in hand. Lastly, you do need motivation. Whether you get motivation from your family, get motivation from your friends, all these things really need to come, come together to really get you those results that you need. So without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to check out my fitness plans. I'll link them in the, the description down below, but also in the comment section. It's a community. So many of you guys have started. It's a 24 seven community where I support you one-to-one. -one. The rest of the group supports you and you get to see the, what I used, all the resources that I used to lose 30 pounds, my workouts, meal ideas, motivation, weekly challenges. It's all in one place and my fitness brand. So I'd love to have every single one of you guys on there. Don't forget to come out and follow me on Instagram. We have a behind the scenes Instagram page just my daily fitness page so come and check out that one but also check out my personal Instagram page as well now I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very very soon bye guys